myself appear as if by magic on YouTube. Come on. Come on. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, uh, stream started. Here's the ad. This video is sponsored by Ground Branch, the uncompromising thinking man's FPS from one of the developers behind the original Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon games. Live out your tactical fantasy through eight-player co-op multiplayer, complete with proximity chat and in-depth character and weapon customization. Don't have seven friends to play with? Well, head on down to your local grocery store and start asking strangers in the produce aisle. Also, while you're there, please check to see if the heirloom tomatoes are still on sale. Those juicy little guys are so delicious. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Ground Branch is here to put the tactical back into Tactical Shooter, and the big version 1034 update makes the experience even better thanks to map improvements, additional playable characters, and the new prone stance. So what are you waiting for? Start shouting things like breach, suppressing fire, and I've got your six to all your new produce aisle pals today in Ground Branch, available now on Steam in early access. Right, that's that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Yahtzee Tries. Marty's here. Hi, everyone. And uh, sorry, I'm just distracted by the way Jack pronounced tomatoes in that ad. The heirloom tomatoes? Yeah, I'm <laughs> sticking my heels in on that one. I've My pronunciation on a few words has drifted, but I insist on saying tomatoes correctly, and I insist on saying yogurt correctly, still. Oh, with a, like a hard, with a hard H halfway through. <laughs> Yoghurt. Yoghurt. Beautiful. Anyway, our first game on Yahtzee Tries this week, uh, Erebon Shadow Legacy, uh, which isn't the most eye-catching title in the world, as we were discussing just before the stream. No. No. But, you know, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've been missing pure stealth games. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I've I've had this one I had this one on my wish list. I haven't got a chance to play it yet, but um, this seemed like a nice kind of stylish, stripped down stealth game, which we don't get very often. No, because uh, there's a lot of stealth in games, but the, it's mostly you know mixed with a hundred other game mechanics in the usual yeah. Jiminy Cockthroat game mechanics oh, stew. Jiminy. Uh, right off the bat, E1 craze for life with a $5 dono. Thank you so much, E1. Would you say the latest Final Fantasy game was a final straw for the series for you? Oh, uh, well, as I said in my review, I didn't hate it as much as I have uh, hated previous Final Fantasy games. I liked it more than Final Fantasy 16, certainly. Yeah. But, and I uh, think you can all really appreciate strange. Chadley here. We're all fans of Chadley here. Now so you're trying, to push, my, you're time trying time to push my buttons now. Ah, oh, classic Chadley. So I have already played a little bit of this game. It starts with a yes. tutorial level, which always makes me nostalgic. Yeah, you just wrote about those. Yes, the tutorial level, the lost yeah. art of the tutorial Truly level. Truly the lost art. Which a lot of games tend not to do these days because if you just stack up learning everything in the first 10 minutes, half of it you forget by the time you actually need to use it. Yeah, I don't know. There's it's it's a tough thing. There's not a, I don't know. There's not always a clean and elegant solution to everything. So in this game, we are the last survivor of a race of weird, like shadow lurking people, and there's okay. this evil corporation, and mm -hmm. uh, who are obviously evil, but we have come to uh, work for them because we are completely oblivious. Apparently, sure. This looks like anime. Do you think? It's hard to oh, tell it. because there aren't any actual characters with visible faces in the game, so we don't know this if it's true. anime. Which is also a uh, that's a good way to save money if your if your budget is low to be like, we'll just cover up the faces. No one will, no one will notice. Oh, thank you for telling me what the run button was, game. <laughs> you just walked the whole time. Now that is a fucking thigh gap. Our character is sporting. 
It's impressive. Look that at is, that. that is, She's yeah. been riding horses since she was four, four, four or five or something. <laughs> That character trying to live up to the title of eccentric worker. I was going to say, how do you like it when NPCs, uh, do you prefer names like that, that's just like a brief character description, or would you rather have that person be named like Horatio? I don't believe in naming a character that we're talking to before our character within context knows what that character's name is. Oh, I like games. A lot of games do that. We'll be like Mysterious Stranger, and then you find out their name, and their name changes to whatever. Okay, I can get behind that. Man, the more benevolent this corporation tries to come across, the more evil you know it's going to turn out to be. <laughs> I don't think there's ever been a benevolent corporation, has there? Um, who was that guy who was a billionaire and then decided he was wanted to die like in poverty and gave all his money to charitable causes and uh, didn't even release his name when he was doing it? Are we even sure that man's real? Is this like a Zen Cohen? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I never heard that story. Well, maybe you didn't because the guy didn't publicize his actions. Sure. Because he just wanted to help people. Yeah. Well, that's true altruism there. Good on you. Now, I'd like to highlight the fact that our protagonist has teal hair. Which I swear is like the sort of unstoppable trend in indie games right now. Sure. In our, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Googling it quick. The Children of the Sun character has purple hair. Uh, Pepper Grinder. Colored. Last colored. week's no, yeah. Pepper Grinder, the main character starts, starts with teal hair. Interesting. Uh, sea of Stars, the main female protagonist has teal hair. Yeah. The upcoming what happened? Light Breaker, we have a teal hair situation there. Two. What was that? You just did it and didn't tell us about what just happened. You just turned into a little smoke. Oh yeah, this is the the core gimmick of the game. We sneak around. Oh, right. When we're in darkness, we can turn into a little puddle and can mm. move uh, move through shadows freely. Interesting. Getting a little a little splatoon out of that. Yeah, it certainly we sort of turned into a little pile of muck. It's sort of cutting out the middleman when it comes to stealth mechanics. Because remember, yeah. Thief was always about just hiding in shadows. Sure, this and is literally that's, becoming the that's, shadows. Yeah, that's literally what we're doing. We're hiding yeah. in shadows. Uh, Shinzu with a five pound dono. Thank you so much, Shinzu. Need to decide between the Adventures Night art style or the Red Dragon in art style for my collector's edition, and I cannot decide. Please help. Also, remasters one. Personally, I'm going for the Red Dragon Inn art style for my free copy because I've seen the Adventurous Nice style. I see it all the time. Yeah. It's all over the place. Sure, you live it. You live it. I want to see someone else's interpretation of my character. Yeah. That's why I like seeing fan art of my own yeah. stuff. Uh, and v a good progress is being made on the remasters to the point where I, I believe some breakthroughs, scientific breakthroughs, have been made to possibly oh, be able to get them done sooner than yes. later. Hopefully, they won't all take six why months. We will share. We will share more on that when we have it. Oh, crafting bench! That's a star oh. off. <laughs> TTC time to crafting. It was about six minutes. Yeah. Did you like the crafting in Final Fantasy VII? I feel like you would really like the crafting in Final Fantasy VII. I feel like you're being deliberately obtuse with the truth. A little, there. a little bit, a little bit. And I also watched your review, so I know you didn't like the crafting. Yeah. Speaking of Final Fantasy VII, I'm drinking out of my Shinra electric power mug, which I realize is weird to have a mug based on a company in a fictional universe that's killing the planet. It'd be like having like a Exxon, an Exxon mobile mug. But I like it anyways. Well, I'm sure the people who work for Exxon probably have a lot of Exxon mobile mugs running around. It's true. They probably think they're doing a little bit of good on the side. I think there's any like oil barons who've just completely internalized it. They've decided, you know what, I'm just going to own it. And then acts like hoggish greedly from Captain Planet. <laughs> I mean, is there anyone who like realizes they're evil? Like even the worst, the the worst of the worst seem like they still try to justify what they do, right? Uh, the Zodiac Killer. Yeah. 
I think they yeah. were pretty self-aware in all the letters they sent. He was like, listen, I'm just trying to put some really good puzzles out there in the world. <laughs> we plop. That's also how you negate fall damage, incidentally. Ooh, I like that. And you have, that's that the little uh, the, the circle on your reticle that is like the amount of juice you have, and then it just uh, yeah, your juice goes up. I think there's a couple of super chats come in. Uh, the dude who eats pianos with a two dollar dono, thank you so much. You should get Exxon to sponsor your streams. Nick, was there on. was there one from uh, E1 Crazy for Life at the start there? Yeah, I read it. Would you oh, say the latest you? Final Fantasy game was the dot 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 uh, final straw for the series? Oh, I thought you were just saying that. Oh no, I was reading E1 Craze for Life. I would never say that. No. They turn our own against us. So yeah. I mean, if you serve the light, robots, as you say. So are these is this a stealth game where it's almost like uh, sort of challenge rooms, or is it more like story kind of? like larger story levels like a thief that you're going through or is it like i didn't play much further than the tutorial but from what i saw okay. it was more uh not so much challenge rooms a sort of open world design based uh maybe a little sort of metal gear solid 5e sort of okay. arrangement yeah oh poor robot uh, and Eric, been a member in ad free for five months. Thank you so much, Eric. Five months. Woo. After today's fully ramble magic video, I think we opened the door for another video. Marty defends Final Fantasy VII Rebirth from the entire Second Wind staff. You know what? I want everyone to just like what they like. And if they don't like Final Fantasy, I think the comments on the uh, almost my universally on my side, looking at, looking yeah, at them this morning. Little, they just like you. You know what I kind of like is that when you step into the darkness, you're all like turned into a black shadow creature and you're all like badass and shit. Yeah. Then you step you into the lights light. and, you, and you just look like a huge dork. Ah! Well, your, shell, your shadow melts away. Look at my dorky <laughs> outfit. That's like a future uniform for when you work at Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, I look forward to having to go up against those as well. Oh my god, they're re and they're, they're resuscitating their their pals. That's gonna yeah. be tough. Yeah, that's how you know you're gonna be dealing with them at some point. The classic trial of stealth. And drop attacks. Uh Robonob the Snob with a twenty euro dono. Thank you so much, Robonob. Good day, gentlemen. Yachts, I have to ask for some advice. How do you come up with subjects to discuss about on semi ramblematic I'm having some writer's block and any advice would be super appreciated. I can't. What have you done? I I don't know. I mean I find I just go about my daily life until I realise there's something I'm thinking about a lot and want to write about. Like you built this weapon to target me. No. Yeah. I feel like sometimes they come out of uh, specific games you're playing. They might have a thing where you're like, yeah. ooh, I can talk about this thing in an abstract sense across the entire history of the medium. For example, uh, having done my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth review, I have an idea for my next semi emblematic to write about the evolution of platforming as a mechanic and how it's ended up with this fucking yellow spray-painted ledge bollocks. I love a nice yellow ledge. What is that? Uh, and Andrew Hickamod, with a five pound dono. Thank you so much, Andrew. Has anyone drew any fan art of Mortimer being inflated while kissing Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog yet? Also, yay, Keanu. Be the Keanu change you want... is voicing Shadow the Hedgehog. I hadn't heard that. Be the change you want to see in the world, Andrew Higginbottom. Andrew, we're no, getting I a P.O. box not. set up, and so if you want to draw a nice picture, we'll give you yeah. a P.O. box address to send it to. You could even send a little like uh, diorama if you want. Yeah. Oh my god, could you imagine? Make sure great. you have put plenty of packing peanuts in that, though. <laughs> okay, shadow powers. Now we can uh, jump out of shadows when we're on the walls. And this will be useful oh, as cool. a traversal mechanic. Yeah. This? Where are my people? You should demonstrate your new power. Answer me. 
Uh, another fat guy co cooks. I almost said another fat guy's cock. Jesus Christ. Another fat guy cooks. Three pound dono. Yachts, have you heard about the Red Dwarf Titan prequel? No. No, the word prequel slightly worries me. <laughs> Didn't you ever uh, have questions about uh, that you wanted answered about the Red no, Dwarf crew? I just liked hearing the funny dialogue between the two dicks on a spaceship. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a ton of details, but yes, it's just a, a it sounds like a Red Dwarf prequel. Right. With none of the original characters? Uh, it said one of the original folks. Rob Grant announces the news. Uh -huh. Rob Grant, the co-creator of the cult sci-fi hit. Yeah, but like the Red Dwarf was a show with a very good sort of elevator pitch, you know? It's uh, the last human being alive, trapped alone in a spaceship three million years in the future. Uh, and he's stuck exclusively with a couple of people he hates. You can't really build a cinematic you can't really build a cinematic universe out of that. Well, what was he like before he was the last person in the universe? Uh, didn't Probably really have much dude. going on, to be honest. Just had a really boring life. And that was the other joke. He was just a sort of random pleb. Yeah. It's like the lowest ranked person on the ship. He was like the guy who changed the bug rolls. So is that kind of do you think uh, Fry from Futurama was a little it's, bit inspired it's, by that? I think Futurama might be very in a very subtle way Red Dwarf inspired. Gotcha. I mean in that it's literally the same premise. Oh. Dude <laughs> dude wakes up wakes up in the far future after being chronically frozen yeah. and is a complete waste of space. And really doesn't dip. really does not deserve to be the last surviving human. I love a good dipshit. Put a dipshit at the center of all my stories. Oh, the obviously evil corporation might be lying to us. Oh, well, no, that's not uh, us. That's, that's thrown me for a loop. Not us. Yeah, this uh, uh, somewhat cell shaded art style kind of reminds me of stuff like uh, you remember Thirteen, the uh, little bit. The, First person, first person, like French yeah. comic book inspired game. I believe David uh, Duchovny did a voice in it. Did he? I know he did a voiceover for the old uh, generic shooter Area Fifty One. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Uh, Robonob again with a 10 euro dono. Thank you so much, Robonob. Uh, so I only need to give my resignation to play even more games than I already do. Thanks, Yahtzee. By the way, curious to see what you guys think of Children of the Sun later on. I found it kind of cute. Mm. Cute? Okay, well, to get back to this game for a moment, yes. our character just shows up at the corporation and, and is like, yeah, sure, I'll work for you, whatever. But now sure. the corporation's torturing her anyway. That's, yeah. what I, that's kind of what I don't get about the plot of this game. It's like the setup. Could, I mean, why, 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 why is the corporation torturing us? The setup is giving me a little bit of, a little bit of um, high fi rush. Yeah, but without any of the levity, I suppose. Without any of the levity, yeah, but at least the very setup of like, hey, maybe this corporation isn't so bad, and then very quickly, oh no, this corporation is bad. But. It doesn't make any sense for the corporation to do this if they want us to work for them. Yeah, because it feels like you they could have uh, just tricked you the entire time as opposed yeah. to immediately turn you into an enemy. Like if we'd like stumbled upon some dark secret that showed the corporation was actually working against us. Yeah. That might make sense for the corporation to suddenly want us to strap us to a table and torture us. But we literally walked right up to the table and pressed use. And they started torturing us. <laughs> and it feels like... It what did, we expect was gonna, what did we expect was going to happen when we interacted with the torture table? Listen, I just laid down on the torture table. I didn't realize it would start torturing me. Man, you never think you're the one who's going to be on the torture table, do you? No. Don't. Control's going to be a bit wonky when it, you have to interchange between floors and walls. Yeah. I feel like that's similar to like in something like a Spider-Man game where you need to like go from a wall to a ceiling or a wall yeah. to another wall. You tend to kind of crunch out. Just a bit. Mm. 
Wee. Oh, yes, that's I, neat. Thank you. I've mastered the wall jump now. You have. Let's move on. Now, this is very stealth game music. Yeah. You even got your detective vision. Yep. Uh, it doesn't last very long, though. Maybe there's an upgrade for that. Yeah, I would imagine. And so the enemies could be woken back up? Or um, they could be woken back up by specific enemies? I think that was the implication. Yeah. In the bum. Right in the bum. I'm always intrigued by how uh, stealth games... Uh, take the concept of like light and cones of vision and lines of sight and everything like that and gamify them there's like ways you can just kind of yeah completely lean over into the gamey like a mark of the ninja which i really like or, yeah, or even your uh, the your uh, radars and the soliton radar in metal yeah gear metal gear yeah and yeah now to just visualize the cone of vision as a literal flashlight in within world context yes yeah Maybe it doesn't even like uh, Thief and then Dishonored almost have like a thing where it's like, oh, we're telling you you're hidden now, but you can peek out and still be hidden. And it kind of like abstracts the idea of you peeking around the corner. Yeah. Thief doesn't have like visibility cones, but it has a very clear indicator of whether or not you, the I protagonist, are visible. Hiding or not hiding, yeah. yeah. We must work together. Uh, Chai Sai up with a five Canadian dollar dono. Thank you so much. Evil Corpo plan. Step one, feed the main character various power ups. Step two, blatantly antagonize the super powered main character. Step three, question mark. Step four, profit. Well, quite. Well, you gotta get hoisted by your own petard every once uh, in a while. Then they're all coming up to us saying, We need to work together. We are not your enemy. Oh, I got the ghost medal. <laughs> oh, oh, you got an S ranking. I think ghost is uh, never being seen. Um, oh, Ruth, that's great. Ruthless is killing everything and Merciful is killing nothing. Oh, that's great. I like that it, it at least seems like a kind of bite-sized level, so it feels like if if you were um, so inclined, you could replay things to try to get all those medals, try to yeah. beat your time. Yeah, it's just a little chomp-chomp. Yeah. Well, it's not technically my first time, Jinzukuchi, but to who's to count? You got pretty beat up back there. <laughs> Set, come in. You know what game this character design reminds me of is um, Lost Planet 2. Did you ever play that? Oh, yeah. Just ev everyone's wearing weird dehumanizing masks for some reason? Yeah, yeah. It was to stay, to stay warm in their, in their eternal winter. Well, what's our yeah, excuse? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, oh, man, I forgot about the Lost Planet games. I'm surprised. I guess they... Capcom went back to that Exo Primal last year, which was kind of like a modern take on Lost Planet, but not as good. I like Lost Planet. Mm. What which Lost Planet do you like? Like every Lost Planet yeah. game had a different tone well, going on. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, I said that and then I realized I don't know if I did, maybe I just liked playing something shiny on my 360 early on. Wow, this game really skips ahead. Where did we it? go? Well, we were on a ship. Uh, we were rescued by some lady with a weird mask, uh, dis distinct from our current lady with a weird sure. mask. And then we were on a ship, and then I think the ship crashed, and then we woke up uh, there. That happened very. That all happened while we were talking about Lost Planet. Well, we don't all have a huge cutscene budget, I suppose. <laughs> I guess that's true. get answers until I heal her. Maybe the ship had supplies. Cyan girl meet red girl. Incredible. Well, red girl kind of looks like Red girl kind of looks like she could be uh, a bomb rush cyberfunk or jet set radio character. Mm. Give her some skates. Let her see what's going on. Okay, interesting thing I noted is that you can't travel on ceilings. Like Oh, all. that's strange. I would have assumed you could just Kind of glorp right up to the top of that thing by going around it. That makes me think of something from the Portal commentary. 
where they said it took us ages to figure out how to get the puddles to work on ceilings. And for a while we were saying maybe we should just not bother with ceilings and just design the game so you don't ever need to go on ceilings. Yeah. And then we realized that that was going to alienate the modders. So we so they thought, "Oh, fuck it, we'll just yeah. we'll just figure it put out. the time put the time in to figure it out." Yeah. I guess this game didn't feel like putting the time in to figure out how to get ceilings working. Yeah, it's like weird. So you could easily shadow up to this one, but you can't shadow up to the one that has like a little little mushroom no. tip. No. In fact, that's how they're going to uh, restrict us from getting to forbidden areas. Yeah. Is by locking it behind ceilings. Okay, we found a med kit. Yay. Now we can treat the pilot. Excellent. Uh, wood for brains with a two dollar dono. Thank you so much. Any second win plans for Harold Halibut? Did we've you get a chance to play Harold Halibut? No, we've got a code for it, but honestly, the description just turned me off. It was like, we are a linear adventure game. And I'm like, thanks, I'm past that phase of my life. But it's hand, it's made with clay. Everything's clay. Yeah, well, oops, all clay. Well, there weren't. it's not the first game to be oops, all clay. What about Clay Fighter? What about uh, the Neverhood? How come no one's talking about Clay Fighter 63 and a third? The Neverhood, Jesus. I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> Even uh, the old uh, uh, Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus games always felt like they were kind of made of clay. Creepy little dudes. I mean, Doom, technically, was claymation because uh, some of the monsters were based on clay models. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, uh, Woodford Brains, as of right now, no uh, no, no plans uh, for Harold the Hollywood coverage. There are a lot of games right now. Oh yeah, mostly code. indies. I mean, yeah. as I said in my tweets this morning, now that Final Fantasy VII's out, AAA releases are kind of going to sleep for quite a while. Yeah, honestly, like even the ones coming out this month, like your your Stellar Blade and your Sandlands, aren't like triple AAA. I guess I guess I want to play Stellar Blade. I guess you know all the people posting pictures of butts will eventually wore me down. You can't, you can't excuse yourself from the horn doggery of the game. We all have to participate in Stellar Blade's horn doggery. Man, I had enough trouble suddenly needing to stop playing Batman Arkham City and go and have a wank after the Catwoman sections. <laughs> Can you imagine what Stellar Blade's going to do to us? Coming soon. She's talking about her vagina. Oh, I gotcha. Jammer that took us down is blocking comms. We need to contact them and get their new location. <laughs> we or do you mean me? I'm not a fighter. I'll well, neither am I. I'm a stealther. <laughs> take my Kodak. Call me when you take. He's gotta take the jammer down. All we have to do is find the jammer and take it down. On one condition. Can you keep a log of what you see? Oh, we don't get much intel from the field. You can use the Kodak. Sure thing, Mira. Anything else while I'm out? A cold drink? Maybe a nice fluffy pillow? Actually, <laughs> you and me are going to get on great. Good luck. Yeah, on it. So, is that the love interest or what? It seemed a little bit like they had a little bit of a, a, little bit of a connection there. And we've got that sort of kooky girl, serious girl dynamic. The, yeah. The tank girl, jet girl thing seems a little risky to get in a relationship with your pilot because if things go south they could just abandon you yeah you don't want to get Not in a relationship with your pilot in a deus ex game those motherfuckers no, no. tend to die like mayflies <laughs> right then where are we going uh that's right speakeasy says i don't even know what new games are out right now because i just want to load up fallout again um, there's all these stories about how with the fallout tv show people are going back to fallout did you what are you, are you a fallout fan I wouldn't call myself a Fallout fan. I've been sorely tempted to watch the TV show, though. Hmm. There's I, only I, so I, many I, episodes of Richard Osman's House of Games on YouTube. I don't. I wouldn't even know if you paid me. I wouldn't even know how many episodes there are. I do know Fallout as well, I think eight episodes. It, uh, Fallout's very nice. As someone who does not play the Fallout games, I'm enjoying okay. Fallout. This well, I've played them. I don't think any of them really made me want to become like a huge obsessed fanboy or anything. Sure. 
Did you play the uh, the original ones, like the, the top down ones? I tried playing I the first one, one once. Uh, I never really had the stomach for that sort of top down RPG. Yeah. But I've played Same. Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas and Fallout Four. I've done my due diligence. Oh, and I played a go. really terrible PS2 game called that was more action oriented, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. I think it was. Oh, that's right. I forgot that existed. I remember its cover. It's really, really bad. <laughs> One pump. Well, there's been lots of platforming, and oh, here we go. I was about to say not oh, so much. Robot. Not so much stealth in. <laughs> but, uh, here we go. It's me, Ayana. Uh, but it's this with a high level message. Says, is there any in-game justification for the various chests other than quote uh, it's a video game? I think it, I think the um, aren't messing around. contextual explanation in this case was oh, that the, like it's like debris out. from the ship that crashed. Mm, so that's why there was like a med kit stuck on a little cliff. Yeah. You saw nothing, robot. Boy, it's helpful someone spray painted purple onto this wall. So I'd Who needs exactly yellow paint when we have purple paint? Yeah. Dead. Let's just say I'm not shooting for the pacifist award. I guess you can't get ruthless and pacifist in uh, a single run, can you? Yeah, I would imagine those are the kind of polar opposites, so you'd need to... Yeah, so it's weird that there's, like, separate slots for them. I mean, if you see, yeah. like, an empty slot at the level end screen, you, you, you a part of your mind feels... Thinks you missed something. Yeah, feels disappointed, right? But one of those yeah. is always going to be empty. Yeah. Yeah, it feels more like how... Uh stuff like splinter cell blacklist had the kind of the three different play styles of each level where you could be like completely stealthy or a stealth killer or just a madman all right let's be fun Banzai! Incredible. Shit. Incredible. no, <laughs> oh, no. I mean, grab your head well that i didn't... feel like there should be like a little grace with that of like you're close enough you'll do a you'll do a cool stealth kill on the guy the fucking like dive attack prompt didn't come up. That was silly. Uh, that would have been so cool. Uh, Robo knob with a five euro dono. Thank you, Robo knob. The description of Harold Halibut as quote handmade was an instant turnoff for me, as the technical aspect somehow makes it a selling point. I mean, uh -huh. I, th I, th I think aesthetics can be a selling point to people. It doesn't make it a good game or a bad game, but sure. In the same way, cell shaded, handmade. Yeah, I've ever been kind of blown away by the, the, uh, the original Crisis when I played it. Yeah. I remember that when impressive graphics was still actually impressive. Yeah. Just Never thing again. Everything had. Never again. Do you think kids are impressed by graphics, or is it just like once I you've seen a modern game? I wouldn't think so. No. Zoop. And Benjamin Street with a five pound dono. No message. Just a five pound donut. You know what, Benjamin? I'm giving your dono a thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah, go look over there. Noink. Something weird is probably happening. Oh, yeah, that looks troublesome, doesn't it? Oh, my friend. Oh, you killed both robos. How could you? Tee hee. Oh, this is easy. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, that's the last words. Man, you don't get a lot of so, leeway, do you? Yeah, I was about to say, is it just pretty much a one-hit, like, yeah, one-hit yeah. kill? That's how you can tell it's a stealth-focused game, I, I suppose. Guess so, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to kill everyone, because like, in my like test play, I was going for like uh, no kills, and mm. A... They're robots, who the fuck cares? And B, it just wasn't that much fun. Yeah, and sometimes that's... Uh, I like it when things die. You put that on your tombstone. I like it when things die. This 
Uh, and RoboNub with another 10 euros. Thank you so much, RoboNub. I get your, I get what you're saying, Marty, but it's in the very first sentence of the description. Cuphead was equally hard to animate, and that's not the first thing that comes up. That's a fair point. When, like, I guess if that's what you're leading with, that usually means you should be a bit skeptical of what the actual quote-unquote gameplay is. So yeah, I see where you're coming from there, RoboNub. Well, I think this game just had a Hitchhiker's reference. Uh-oh. What was it? Number 42? Yeah, it was a 42. Mm. Well, notice your friend, then. <laughs> Are there uh, sort of uh, moves and tactics to gain things' attentions? Like, is there, like, knocking against the wall, that kind of thing? Like, No, I think the disappearing into shadows makes for a pretty good clear-cut yeah, escape kind of system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have. Huh. Have you got any competent friends? <laughs> I was just might make this game more interesting. What well, is easy, your... well, it's easy to talk shit when that was my third attempt, I suppose. I'd say. What is your uh, what is your goal here? What are we doing? So we we, uh, we are healed our pilot. We are trying to get to the icon on the screen. <laughs> okay, yeah. That, I, I think I, I think hot pilot love interest said something about a jammer preventing our communications with the rest of the oh, resistance. Yeah, the jammer. Love a jammer. That old chestnut. Gotta love a jammer. Uh, Mike Smith with a five pound dono. Thank you so much, Mike. This live stream is a wonderful help to me finishing off my uni assignment. Thanks, guys. You're very welcome, Mike. Uni is uh, what they call college in uh, in, in uh, England. And Australia. And Probably in Australia. More... Yeah. That's Australian slang for you. You just like take the first syllable of a word and then put a vowel after it. Like Kinda instead like of... That. Like when you're when you're registering your car, you don't call it registration; you call it rego. Reggie, the rego. Yeah, ah, great. And when you're going to the bottle shop to buy more booze, you call it the bottle o. First off, I've never heard the term bottle shop, and I like that a lot. A, a bottle shop like is what uh, you would call a, li a liquor store in liquor store, America. Yeah. Call it a hooch factory. Uh, that's great. I love that. Uh, Dr. Calks with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much. Anybody catch the Hades two tech test? Looks quite good. Uh, I did. I got to play uh, an hour of it this morning. Um, so Hades two is going into early access, much like Hades one. But before it goes into early access, they're doing kind of a, a tech test thing just to make sure. I guess preliminary bugs are out. Um, and so I got to play a little bit of it uh, this morning, and uh, it just it just it feels exactly like Hades in a in a very good way. Um, that being said, I do think I'm going to probably abstain from the early access version mostly until release, just because I'm I'm not a not a big early access guy. Fair enough. Are you going to turn around? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Good thing I didn't uh, make a move. Eric says you gotta select. I did. I did, and I didn't. Even, I, I didn't use press or anything. I just on my Steam account. I clicked the other day, and then I got an email this morning saying I got it. Oh. Oh. Upgrade points? No, I don't. Can you upgrade anywhere, or do you have to like up? Oh, because there was a bench in the previous level. Do you have to like upgrade at specific spots? No, that that wasn't character upgrades. That was tools. Oh, that was actual crafting. And then there's like a skill tree or whatever. Yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. Although a lot of it doesn't seem to have come up much. Hey, you're one of those healing robots I've heard so much about. Oh no, we hate those robots. Those are the worst robots. Priority target. Oh what? shit. Oh shit. Oh. He's got a oh my god, he's healing and killing. Damn it. I thought there was shadow down there. This this also reminds me of a game like two years ago. We played for game night. I say weeks, I think I was there, but I didn't play. And it was ninjas. I think it was called Aragami. Yes, I remember that. Yes, I, I did believe play that. Aragami 2 
it was like a three player or four player stealth game like this where you're all on the same level you're more ninjas than that but uh kind of had a cell shaded look to it as well kind of reminds me i really don't know why that robot saw me or heard me yeah either. oh yeah Uh, Andrew Hickenbottom with a five pound dono digging the matching black shirts, fellas. Quite unusual to see Marty in black. He's like Luke in Return of the Jedi when he's thinking about being evil. So it's funny. This is actually maroon. This is or like a burgundy. And I guess the closer Shut I get, up. you can see it's more red. But um, I have bad lighting and a bad camera, and so it looks black. Whereas Yahtzee, I think, is just wearing black. And I also have bad lighting and a bad camera, but I am wearing black. You know what? We make up for it in our personalities. Our beautiful, shining personalities. Exactly. Well, oh, blimey, there's tons of them. George Lucas yeah. says, Aragami 2 was Jamate's first stream when he joined. How do you remember Jamate's first stream? This is incredible, George Lucas. Jamate fanboys. Jamate fanboys. Jamate can me crazy. Jamate heads. <laughs> Jamate date as Jamate date. That's oh. a uh, dating a dating app where you just, uh, it's just you go on a date with Jamate. It's literally just or Ludo. Literally just Jamate and or Ludo. Yes, God knows how he got the VC funding for it. No, exactly. <laughs> Thought Tank says it's because Marty streams over Wi-Fi. I found out last night I'm the only one here. I think. Do, are you hooked up or are you streaming on Wi-Fi? I'm on fiber, bitch. I'm the only person here that streams on Wi-Fi. And I said, I don't even know where my modem is. I don't even know where to start my house. There's several rooms in my house. I just don't go in because they're haunted. Oh, come on. That said, not the failure, but right beforehand, I thought it was cool that you could kind of drop through the grate. Yeah, I thought that's why the grate was, was there. No. So I could drop behind the dude. I feel like, yeah, it's it keeps happening. They keep hearing me and turning around and spotting me, and I don't know what I did to make them hear me. Yeah, which quickly... That quickly turns a stealth game frustrating when it's like, I don't feel like this is necessarily my fault because I don't know why this is happening. Yeah. You, you're next on my list. Oh my god, right out of his chest. See, the trouble with stealth games is if you play them perfectly, they feel like they're too easy. Because, uh, yeah. at the end of it, everything's just dead. And they didn't do a thing to you. Because you saw them all. But there's like all this strategy and planning involved in picking off who's furthest away from the group first, etc. Sure. I do. I, I like games that uh, allow you to enter a situation in stealth, and then you have to deal with shit hitting the fan when you're spotted. Which this is not one of those games. It feels like once stealth is broken, you're kind of boned. Whereas, yeah, probably some local fat. Something like uh, Phantom Pain was very much be stealthy until you're not, and then deal with it. Or even like The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, Robina, back with another five euros. Stealth games with enemies that can insta kill you feel like a transgression of the Geneva Conventions. I feel like I it's... could probably run away. Sure. Oh, because it seems like they only uh, it, the insta kills when they grab you. Should I have been looting all these enemies so far? Because I haven't been. Yeah, I did not realize that the enemies had things. If we're being honest. Well, can that guy see me while I'm up on this ledge? Do they have the power to look up? That's my question. Can dogs look up? Think about it. Ooh, Shaun of the Dead reference. Ah, uh, films. Yes, that was a film back for back in the time when I still watched films. See, there you go. I'm worried he's out in the open, and the other bots will see me if I kill him. 
do you uh is there a way to like uh kind of mark them so that you can kind of see their presence through walls and whatnot well you can just do this but that doesn't last oh yeah i don't think it's got enemy marking maybe that's like a thing you can unlock Ooh, random documents and audio logs. Uh, oh, shit, that was close. Oh, that could have went bad. Nice. Uh, I just, uh, this just reminded me because I banned uh, a spam comment in uh, Twitch. Remember the porn bots over in YouTube? What happened to them? They never came over from The Escapist. There's got to be a moment in the life of a porn bot company where you go, oh, well, it was worth a try. Might as well stop. <laughs> Might as well stop because we never actually get any people coming to our site from these things. Or they're just all on Twitter now. Just hot nudes in bio. Yeah, I've been seeing that a lot. Yeah, a lot of nudes in bio. Have you ever been curious enough to go and see if they have got hot nudes in the bio? Yeah, for research. Research purposes and, and whatnot. Ow. Shit. Uh, CC with a 199 dono. Thank you so much, CC. Shocked. Shocked that you don't like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Two shocks from CC. <sighs> I liked it more than I thought. What do you people want? Listen, I watched the review before it went live, and I was like, I thought it was kind of positive. <laughs> I it was kind of positive. And all the stuff you were annoyed at, I was like, yep. I get it. Except for Chadley. I think we all agree Chadley was nice. Is Chadley your OC or something? No, I like that they... Uh, Chadley is very annoying in the first game. And for the second game, they created a character that annoys Chadley. So that is... Uh, the, it's the cycle of revenge and the cycle of pain. Hurt people, hurt people. Chadley people, Chadley people. Uh-huh. Uh, the dude who eats pianos with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much, dude who eats piano. Shaun of the Dead is as staggering an achievement as Casablanca or Citizen Kane. The mark of a critic's maturity in admitting that. If you say so. Yeah. That just smacks of my opinion is right and critics are just fuddy duddies. Ah. Sort of attitude there. Probably like Shaun of the Dead more than Citizen Kane. I don't think I like it more than Casablanca. That is that's the that's the number one bar movie of all time. Best I think there's a consensus. A if you actually watch Citizen Kane these days, it's actually pretty boring and crap. It it's is. Just, it's impressive yes. for the time when you're like, oh, look at these shots yeah. you did, and you kind of pioneered X, it's Y, just and Z. Got a place in film history because it was the first to do a lot of things we take for granted in modern yeah. filmmaking, apparently. Okay, well, where the hell do I go now? I just said go up. I've been up. There was nowhere else to go further up. Oh, and all the dudes are right there, apparently. Oh my god. You just hit Dude Central. Well, uh, the Citizen Kane fans are very upset at you right now. The Charles Foster Kane heads. <laughs> Not, well, not a fan actually, of what you said. I haven't actually seen Citizen Kane. I'm just repeating what I've heard. There you go. I feel like everything's pointing for us to go here. But there doesn't seem to be anywhere to go from here. Can you interact with the... I like, know oh this isn't a thing. Like, does this thing connect to a... Because you're supposed to unjam... So is there like some sort of a computer terminal underneath that or something? Like somewhere in this tower, is there like a thing right. we interact with? Um, there's a thing. What but the does hell? Look like a thing thing. What is that? Just a gun? <laughs> I just like what? pressed in the right analog stick and she claps her hands. I'm the best at this game. Well done. Round of applause. Yeah. Yay. What? Oh, maybe that's the equivalent of getting uh, someone's attention, uh, like knocking on the walls in Metal Gear. Oh, I see. Maybe. Okay, well, let's go this way. 
you. You're on the list. No, not the list. <laughs> Robodob with a dodo. Uh, we need a Yahtzee Tries Contemporary Movies Edition. We can, we can make a series out of that. I have to watch a film and report back to like you and Darren or something. Oh my god, quarterly book reports? Yeah. I love it. Ooh, more stuff. What did I say? Shadow bust? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What happened? Good question, Wait. Ayana. Wait. <laughs> you fell through the world, but the character was cognizant that they fell through the world. Oh, dear. Incredible. This, uh, this, uh, game's coded a little jangly. But they were aware of it, and the character acknowledged it, which I appreciate. I guess. <sighs> so that's the entrance where I came in. I assume. And that's where we're supposed to be going. Well, I don't know how to get there. Now I'm remembering. This is where I stopped playing the first time as well. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the good the good thing is um, we're coming upon the hour. So if we don't stop it, there's no cops. I feel like I want this game to have more of a say before we chuck it in the bin it's yeah this was where you entered and i assume that's what that that icon the little the little diamond with the arrow above it is supposed to be like oh. that is our goal ultimately well, in inevitably yes but i don't think there's anywhere else i can be right now we're at this villa place Don't even need to do that. <laughs> I just felt like it. Oh, you found one. Well, got there in the end, didn't you? <laughs> I should stay in the area. Oh, pff, fucking! You are about to leave the area, player. <laughs> so don't be such a dick. We've made the, all this lovely game for you to play, and you're all going to the wrong place. Is this where we're going? I mean, there's stuff new? here. Yeah, it's new. No, I got there's this stuff. Stuff yet? What is more shadow juice? You unlock shadow juice? Oh, yeah. Shadow Orb. Shadow Powers. Love a nice Shadow Orb. Now I can Shadow Dash. Incredible. Wee! Boy, that was worth it. That was a kind of an underwhelming dash. If I'm okay, honest. you're you're dead, and I presume because of me. <laughs> it seems like something you would have done. Oh, I don't know the one. So what does it mean when it says Sim has been neutralized? That's when another robot has found one of the robots I killed. Oh, gotcha. Oh, did we just get a checkpoint save? I guess this must be the way to go then. And Seems another one. What the hell was the point of that whole... This is just a really big world without like a very clear... Other than the one marking of like... Go up there. Um, yeah. And more dead robots. Maybe this maybe this one wasn't me. Oh wait, I think I remember this one. Yeah. Oh, that was where you came off the wall. Yes. Originally. Yes, I've this I've been here. <sighs> I went back and forth across that villa twice, you saw. I saw. I just couldn't figure out where to go. I mean the game was yeah, pretty clearly pointing us there. pretty clearly pointing us towards it. In brief <laughs> I like the core mechanic, mm -hmm. but I think this game is showing a bit of amateur hour in the design department. 
in terms of level yeah. design. I mean, open world kind of stealth like this can can go lopsided very quickly in my mind. Like, I think it works in a thing like Phantom Pain because it's it's a stealth concepts that have been iterated upon by a team yeah. for however many decades. Yeah, I do like I like the aesthetic of this game. I li- I think the shadow idea is pretty cool. Yeah, um, I think it's an interesting way to do like a stealth focused thing because mm-hmm. a lot of stealth focused games struggle with a couple of details that I think this disappearing into shadows thing gets around pretty effectively. Yeah. Like for one thing, a lot of stealth a stealth game is f- most frustrating if you can never tell how visible you are being. And yeah. if a robot will see you if they look in your direction. But yeah. we just go into a shadow and we know they can't see us. That works. Oh, what's that? Uh, random document. Which doesn't really tell us anything. Oh, hang on. What's that pink area? Oh. Our eyes are drawn to it. Yeah, they certainly were. Uh, you know what else my eyes are drawn to? Sovereign with a 50 euro dono. Those well, that's European what, dollars. That's what pink does. It is hot pink. It's a hot pink dono. Uh, hi, Yats and Marty. Long time watcher. First time super chatter. Thanks for all the great content over the years. Question. Any plans of a Yahtzee tries on Phantom Fury? It's a new Half-Life style shooter from 3D Realms out next week. We yeah, were yeah, just yeah, talking about that before we went live. Yeah. yeah, I've been playing it. I was thinking I might full on fully ramblematic it, actually, although probably double build or something. Mm-hmm. Oops, there you go. Uh, Sovereign, thank you so much for the dono. Stab. Okay, maybe that other villa was just for people who want to kill all the robots. The killer villa. The killer vanilla. That. The killer gorilla who likes vanilla. Uh, Jacob Kitty says, why double build during a games drought? Well, it's more of a triple A games drought. There's there's a whole mess of indie games. Yeah. I mean, the games I have in mind, I don't really have a full video's amount of material on them, if I'm honest. <laughs> Did you see the little kitty Big City got a May 9th release date? Oh, nice. Yeah, I looked at that yeah. at GDC. It oh. seemed it seemed pretty cute. Yep, seems nice. Be a little cat just knocking shit over. I was slightly more interested in on your tail. I don't think I know that one. But uh, yeah, I'll check out Little Kitty Big City. Wow, I have not I've not even heard of on your tail. Uh, we, it looks very uh, nice. We covered it in our GDC footage. In the video you did with your mate. Yeah, didn't you watch that? I did. That's why I'm so confused. It was the like cozy detective game where you're a goat. It might have been one of those games that, or might, one of those videos I put on as I was doing things and leaving the room and drinking coffee and taking I, big dumps and whatnot. If I kill one of you, is the other one gonna have a problem with that? Yep, he certainly is. Shit, shit, run. Okay, don't run. Oh my god, look at these guys. Man, fucking hey, robo. How am I going to get the Ruthless Award? Yeah, right? Aha! There's, the, there's a thought. Clap my hands. Come on. Come on, investigate. Yes. Did you play... Uh, there, was a, there was a game I really enjoyed. It came out last summer, last fall, called No Sun to Worship. Oh, I think that rings a bell. Oh, bollocks. That would have been a good, if we were doing Yahtzee tries back then, that would have been a good Yahtzee tries. But that was also very much a solo dev, uh, sort of small, bite side. I think it's only like five or six levels. Um, stealth, that's inspired by, you know, a little bit of a little bit of Metal Gear Solid, a little bit of uh, Hitman, a little bit of like Splinter Cell. Uh, a little really, bit really of Splinter it. Cell in my life, a little bit of Metal Gear in my life. A little bit of Arkham in my life. The stealth game song. There you Shout go. out to Lou Vega. Mambo, Mambo number, number five. Mambo number stealth. Huh? Ah, did it again. Hey, we found the thing. 
Uh, yep. But that we, whole building we were in was officially a complete waste of time. Oh, but it lied to us. How could you, Kim? Uh, SVS Guru. Welcome, SVS Guru, with a five year old dono. The problem with robot enemies is that they should all be connected by Wi Fi and would all instantly know when one of them goes down. I think this is robot enemies in like the George Lucas Star Wars prequel sense, in that they all mm. apparently have some kind of independent intelligence for very inefficient no. reasons. Okay, I guess we're past the robots and uh, into a traversal section. Ooh. Hey, we actually got here before the end of the stream. Hey, look at that! Is it going to be a hacking minigame or... Uh, no, we're just hacking. Nope, you hold down a button. Which, which, real life. It, you know, sometimes just having to hold down a button is more welcome than a minigame. Yeah, if you're not going to do a good minigame, just don't do any at all. Yeah. Now, if we want good minigames, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, Christ. Gotcha. I, I, did you get to the worst of the minigames? Did you get to the one where you had to play as the dog man and do, like, bad Rocket League? Yes. Yes, that was a really bad one. <laughs> that was <laughs> awful. Really I forgot one. about it until now. Thanks a fucking bunch. Now That's a really I, bad one. Now I'm filled with hatred again. <laughs> Great game. Ta -da -da. Oh. I do like... As soon as, like, right before you hit the ground, uh, doing the little shadow gloop. Yeah, because if you don't, nice. you die. Ooh, whoosh. Well, I feel like we're finally making progress in this game. I'm going to have to stop. I know. Isn't that frustrating? I know, right? Maybe I should. Play I feel this like game that's the mark more. of enjoying a game on Yahtzee Tries. If you want to keep playing it, as opposed to, is the hour up yet? Can we please put the next thing on? Okay. Well, uh, maybe we'll put a pin in that. Okay. That was Erebon. Generic name Shadow Legacy. There you go. Which I think the worst thing the name has going for it is it kind of sounds like Raid Shadow Legend. Oh, God. Yeah. Which is not great. That was a bad uh, choice. That was a bad choice. I'm uh, putting the Steam the Steam uh, link in here. Uh, also, while we're transitioning games, uh, I'm sure a lot of you know, but uh, tomorrow we have an extremely special stream for you guys. 12 hours, in fact, for our charity stream partnering with uh, Able Gamers. We will both be there. We'll have rotating crews. All, all, your, all your favorite pals will be there starting at 10 a.m. Central. Uh, playing all sorts of games uh, like Fall Guys and Lethal Company and Hell Divers and First Class Trouble and the return of Dokopan. My God, how will we cope? I I uh, cope upon. I don't know how we're gonna. I don't know how we're gonna cope. I'm gonna figure out how to play Dokopan again because I don't think I ever actually learned in the first place. It's been a while. Uh, Dokopan Reflexes of Dead Cat is going to be 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central. So a nice four-hour chunk. Uh, sure, go nuts. I haven't played this. This must have downloaded a cloud save. Oh, oh, God, does it. oh God. Uh, I feel I should clarify I don't know anything about this game. Oh, well, there you go. But I'm kind of digging it so far. Look at that pee. Yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. There's pee. <laughs> oh, is this more stealth? No. Um, this is a this is a puzzle game. This is a sniper puzzle game. Okay. You'll, you'll see very quickly what that means. I'm on board. Uh, you have you have one bullet to kill everyone in this in in each level. Oh, I get you. Yeah, so you only move in pretty much a circle around the arena. You're not moving kind of using depth. And 
suit. However, when you hit a target, you then get to re-aim your bullet. Okay, I'm down. There you go. That, that's pretty cool. That's the that's the the core in a nutshell, and then it will slowly start kind of kneading in more and more um, wrinkles and mechanics. I actually really enjoyed this game. Okay. Uh, True Mando with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much, True Mando. Just finished. Will leave for good. Thank you so much for bringing back that character from my favorite book of yours. Spoilers. Was that always the plan? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Once go. I decided who Jack McKeown was. Welcome back, Jack. Jack. <laughs> uh, Robin up back with another five euros. Good luck for your ears. This game's OST blasted mine, and not in a good way. Okay, I think I have my plan. This might have literally been the game I was thinking of when I asked in the previous game if you could mark your targets, because this game was all about marking targets. And Andrew Hickenbottom with a two year oh, can I uh, shoot two pound no-no. Can I shoot you can shoot his Wii? Invisible Willy. You might be able to shoot him in the Willy, and the game might acknowledge it. Sometimes it gives you points for. Uh, yeah, I got. Yeah, you got fifty dick points. I got points for dick. Oh, there was two guys there. Shit. Yeah, you'll be able to get them. Yeah, and I like how there's kind of like the score multiplier thing of like, you can't just dawdle in between shots. You gotta yeah. know where you're going. And then I like this thing too. Where it kind of yeah, shows you that's a little, cool. A little heat map. Yeah. <laughs> 50 points for dick and three <laughs> points for heads. Uh, yeah, this one's uh, published by Devolver Digital and I believe a solo uh, developer. It is it is very Devolver Digital, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, this reminds me a little, a little bit of like a little bit of Super Hot, a little bit of Hitman Go, sort of like taking uh, the, the, the raw violence of a shooter but distilling it into a puzzle. Yeah, it's it's got sort of slightly Suda 5-1 vibes as well. Yeah, definitely. Which I'm a fan of, as you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That guy's having a spirited conversation with his imaginary wife. <laughs> <laughs> or he's rehearsing the conversation he's going to have with her later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Andrew, bottom of the two, Pine do Dono. Thank you so much, Andrew Carnival. Where can I find the sniper rifle? Ooh, no, reference. Stick. Reference. Salt stick. So, I'm wondering where the actual challenge comes into it, because it seems like just aiming to all the enemies in turn seems pretty easy so far. Yeah, it'll start. Um, it'll start uh, folding in more more wrinkles, more ways to kill things, kind of puzzles you need to solve with your bullet during a level. Right. Okay, where to start? Over four, perhaps. How dead. Oh, but now you're gonna be like, oh shit, are there trees and bushes? Oh, but now is there a car in your way? Oh, no, you get that? Beautiful. And three. Muzzle. Nice. Beautiful. And I do think the little heat map is very satisfying every time. I like seeing that. Mm. But how does the bullet even do that? That's bullshit. Magic. I think Man. a little bit of magic. Man, I'm losing my immersion. <laughs> uh, 10-7 with a $5 dollar dono. Thank you so much. Don't forget that the short level description before the title card actually hints at a challenge you can complete for that level. Uh, yeah, you did something in that level that got you like a little bonus. Uh, okay. And this level also is it hinted at something... Well, well, it's Very hinting clear. fairly strongly now. <laughs> Legally, I don't know if we can call that a hint. It's like a brick to the face, really. Uh, but yeah, this this level introduces that, oh, there might be things in the environment that you could shoot that aren't people that can uh, cause quite a bit of a mischief. Yeah. Would it kill both of them, then? Who can say? Uh 
Ajá. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna blow up the car and kill all the enemies standing around it. That's my assumption. Pretty safe assumption. I mean, in real life, that wouldn't work. No, I don't think so. I think Mythbusters covered this. It only really works if you use a tracer bullet, and even then, it doesn't blow up the car. What's a, are there a tracer bullets? Those ones where you can almost like see the lights when they shoot yeah. at night. Yeah, they oh. leave a trace so you can see mm. where they are because they've got a little extra like burning thing on them. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, that works. Well, you're now a bullet in the middle of fire. Beautiful. Oh, oh, it didn't kill everything. There's more. I hate it when th things don't die. Oh. Oh, there's still two? Are you playing with a uh, controller or mouse and keyboard? With a controller, as it happens. This was a rare game where I started on my Steam Deck, and I was like, I think I need a mouse and keyboard. And I moved my PC. And I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I played a video game with a mouse and keyboard. You bitch. I feel like what? Uh, and Mia with uh, 50 Norwegian kroner. And okays. Thank you what so did, much. Any pie recommendations? Where did I lose points for shots fired? Was I supposed to do it in zero bullets or something? Or maybe they mean like... Uh, Ricochets? Yeah, like maybe you could have gotten those two guys at the at the end. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I think yeah. you might be right. Three shots instead of four or whatever. All right, let's try that again. Look at that. Score attack. Uh, pie recommendations. Uh, I like uh, I like a nice uh, I like a, uh, like a nice key lime pie. Oh yes. I like Me a too. Nice lemon meringue. I'll take a key lime over a lemon meringue, but I wouldn't kick you a lemon meringue out of bed. Here we go. How about savory? I like. A, do you like savory pies? Like a meat pie, a chicken pot pie? Oh yeah, I like a shepherd's pie. There you go. Okay, let's start with the other car this time. Are they all? Yeah. Are all three of them huddled by cars? Okay, so if yeah, you just hit a, the gas tank, there was a third car that I went that I blew up the first time that I didn't need to blow up. Just like the Kennedy assassination, a third car. No one knew about it. <laughs> Shit, there's something in the way. Probably. Oh, yeah, failed. I do like, again, this is um, something we talk about in, honestly, more with uh, kind of 2D splatformers, but I do like how quickly after a failure you are back in trying. Yeah. And, um, uh, really uh, encourages experimentation, I would say. Hmm. Looks like I can't do anything but shoot gas tanks. Okay. Okay, let's let's start with the other gas tank. I gotta do this right. I gotta get all the points. You know what? I I appreciate a, a perfectionist. Like that car, and that car. that car. So let's start with this car this time. Yeah, and Jacob, uh, this also this game reminded me a little bit of uh, Neon White, I guess, in its sort of uh, strong focus on mechanics and uh, replaying a level to gain yeah, yeah. Mastery. Just try to be as efficient, you know? 
Yeah, be, yeah. Be polite. Be efficient. Have a plan yeah. to kill everyone you meet. <laughs> I still lost points for shots fired. Oh, well. I got an achievement. Uh, Shinzu says, how long is this game? I'm interested but concerned it will outstay its welcome unless it expands on the core concept. It is not very long. Um, if I, I, I was able to complete it in uh, one, I guess technically two sittings, because I moved from a couch to my desk to change uh, input menus, but um, yeah, you could probably get through, once you know what's going on, you could probably get through the campaign in like uh, two hours, maybe. But again, you if you want to do what Yahtzee just did, where you try to master each level, you take more time. Oh, there's a lot of background storytelling going on. Yeah. Bullets that yeah, burn you are bullets that hurt. I choose to interpret that to mean that if we fire a bullet through a fire, it will catch fire and hit the enemy. Paper bullets. Just like real life. There's a mang and a car. Uh, Fred E. with a $5 dono. Thank you so much, Fred. Uh, how do you push through writing sad scenes in literature without being overwhelmed and unable to keep writing what's necessary for the story? You don't be such a huge suck. Oh, that's not... That's not how that works. I mean, that's just... I guess, do you, like, have strong empathy for the characters you're writing? Or do you see them more as... Well, not really, because uh, I made them and I can destroy them. Oh, there's another dude. You sound like an, you sound like an evil god, if I'm going to be honest. Okay, why can't I, why can't I select him? You. Punts and Beats says, so writing a book is like playing The Sims. Kinda? Kinda. You know, sometimes you just gotta put them in a closet and take away the doors and watch them go insane. Pretty much. Okay, there's six dudes apparently. I'm guessing one of them's in their house. Mr. Six. I know for some of these levels, too, I felt like it was much easier to find them by just being like, well, let me try to shoot them. And then eventually you'll see one from a different angle and be like, oh, there, the guys, the guys tied up in a corner or the guys in this building. Or... That sounds like loser talk to me. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I, I like playing games in easy mode and let me, loser talk is just my preferred modus operandi. Oops. I didn't mean to. Oh, <laughs> bollocks. Okay, fine. That's going to hit a kid. It's going to enter a schoolyard, it's going to hit a child, and it's all your fault. <sighs> Alright, well, let's just try killing them and see what happens. Starting with you. Blamo.
You can run, but you'll only die tired. Oh, there's a guy. Oh yeah, he's in the he's in the, <laughs> in the house. See, sometimes it just takes a little failure. Okay, it's in the same house as Mr. Two. Thank you to save Mr. T. Uh, Robo Dom, two euro dono. I love the sound of the footsteps. Pum 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 pum. Yeah, game's got good style. Oh, I thought that was the music. Oh, where is he? There might also be some enemies to where you can't get to them until you kill a guy you can see. So, like, you almost need to kill number two in order to get the bullet in the house. And then once you're in the house, you can kill the other guy. Well, I guess we should finish with Mr. Two, then. Mr. Two? I call him Mr. Two. In the heat of the night. Yeah, I don't think I can tag him. All right, well, we'll start with Mr. Five. Uh, true Mandalorian with a highlighted message. So, Marty, does this play decently in the Steam Deck, or is it too hard without uh, with the controls? I'm traveling for work uh, for a week tomorrow and need a new game. Uh, I ended up preferring to play it with a mouse. Yahtzee seems like he's fine with the controller, though, so that just might have been a me thing. And... Shit! Oh, no! Wall! Wall! There's a wall! It's like, you can't have this one be the last one. You need to shoot a guy from the outside, shoot this guy in the house, and then leave the house again. I think we can start with the house and then leave the house. Oh. Yo. Yeah, enjoy this view of this uh, elk crossing sign, for it <laughs> shall be your last. <laughs> Oh, is this go fire bullet? Fire bullet. Yeah, in the leg. Oh my god. Oh no, that was a couch in our way. <laughs> Look at this guy. Looks oh, like he's wearing a banana This cup. isn't this isn't going very well. Oh, no. Beautiful. Bollocks! Oh, there's still one other guy. Maybe he'll maybe he'll give you the angle. I doubt maybe it. Else, I don't think this guy's gonna give you the angle. No, yeah, we start. No, this is where it gets complicated, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try starting with five again. But this time we'll We'll beeline to four and then two. Oh, nice. Yay, bullets that burn, bullets that hurt. And then we'll... Shit! Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not. like you need okay, to enter the house and they have enough guys outside the house so you can leave the house. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Antara Saluna, I do. that is one thing I like, that uh, it, it auto-marked the guy you didn't mark once you hit him. You know, yeah. Right? So marked him as six. So that's like a nice little... So let's start with... QOL. Three. Nope. Bollocks, <laughs> bollocks, it, but... bollocks, bollocks. Okay. I think this will work if I can not fuck up. So now we shoot six. Turn all the way back around to one and then to four. Dying tired, I see. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -na. Beautiful. Uh ten seven with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much. Ten seven. Don't forget there are gas tanks around that you can use to get an angle on things as well. Didn't need it. Yeah, there Thanks are. for the advice. There are objects you can shoot in the environment uh, 
that allow you to reposition your bullet without having to kill a person. Do something later on. I like breakfast. Breakfast is great. That's a top top three meal. Look at these little fishies. Little fire fishies. Do we need to shoot the fishies? Why are they on fire if they're underwater? Think about it. That's one of those questions you're not supposed to ask. Oh, Why are no. the birds on fire? Why is everything on fire? Oh, we, we have to shoot the fishies and the birds, do we? Oh, uh, the animals. This is teaching us that there are animals in the environment we can use to... Uh, you know, sometimes if you want to get a bird's eye view of a scenario, you can shoot a bird. And then all of a sudden you're up in the sky. Well, I wouldn't have thought that. Thank you, game. Thank you, video game. Uh, Tommy Salty with 10 Polish Zwoty. Her name was Indy Darling, and she was independent. Nah. Okay. Yeah, I see. Though. Maybe they're made of magnesium. Magnesium burns underwater. Get out of town. That yeah. Makes sense. In fact, uh, all the metals in that area of the periodic table are burned by contact by, with water. It's fucking nuts. Potassium explodes if you stick it in water as well. Get out of town. How does that work? Science Chemist is wild. Chemistry. The wonderful, complicated world of chemistry. Science is absolutely wild. Okay, so we shoot the fish in one side of the lake, then shoot some birdies, and then shoot the fish in the other side of the lake. Beautiful. Is what I'm getting from this. Beautiful. Abdel Kerala has been a member from the Green Gang for five months. Thank you so much. Halo would be so much easier if you could do this. Yeah, well, I feel like a lot of games would be easier if you could do this. Bird. Wrong. Oh. Missed. Ah. <laughs> Bollocks. Oh, I have to mark them again. I'm not even going to bother. They're on fire. They're easy to spot. Why did you have to mark them again? You didn't have to do that last time. Well, because these you... aren't humans. They're, they're animals. Oh, I guess they're fishes and birds and whatnot. Where's that other one gone? Oh, it's Hello. in 3D. Where are we? Where are you? Oh. I thought that was like a plane on fire. Jesus. So now is it three fish? Or are you done with birds? No, there's one more bird. Now it's the fish. Beautiful. Get dead. I like how levels just end with the word dead dancing around. That's this one of those pseudo five one e touches. Yeah, 100%. I'm not doing too well on timing. I also but don't think shots ages, fired. It takes what ages you... to turn things around with the analog sticks. Also, shots, like, how could you have done that with fewer shots? I feel like we're playing as a Dead by Daylight villain. We're playing as someone who was like a member of a cult who escaped the cult, who's now getting revenge yeah, on the cult. And learned how to do magic bullet stuff. Blue energy magic bullets, yeah. Correct. Shoot towards the left trees. Can do game. <laughs> oh. You have to be. It's like the hit game wanted. You're, you're bending bullets in the air. I see. Uh, pressed L left trigger too late there. Uh, Leighton591 with a $10 dono. Thank you so much, Leighton. Yahtzee, if you had to interact with your past self from the years you did ZP, which year do you think would be the worst slash you would uh, want conversation to end as soon as possible? Now aim and to you find can't use it to change the future. Which version of yourself, I guess Leighton is asking, which version of yourself since 2007 did you like the least? 
which is an interesting question. I guess I go straight to my 2016 self and tell him to put a large amount of money on Donald Trump winning the election. There you go. Well, yeah, there he was. Nice stock in the Apple company. I feel like you'd probably want to get in on Apple a lot sooner than that. A little, little earlier than that, yeah. I think if, if, if we were going back to 2007, I'd tell myself to buy shares in Amazon. Sure. Or you could just buy, like, shitty bitcoins and for oh, nothing yeah. and sell them for a shit ton a couple of years ago. Okay, there we go. Wunderbar. Okay, so... Leighton says, Leighton with three months in the green egg says, you can't use the conversation to change the future. And also just wants to know who the least favorite version of yourself was. Which seems like a, this feels kind of a weird question. What's the least favorite version of you from the last 15 years? Um, maybe from the period just before I started Zero Punctuation, when I used to wear a fedora and a Hawaiian shirt. There you go. Nothing wrong with the Hawaiian shirt. You would wear them together? Yes. Sometimes with a black trench coat over it. A lot going on there. No, I already did this game. We need to shoot short towards the left trees. What do you think about that? Did you ever have one of those Hawaiian shirts with Goku on it? No, nothing like that. I wasn't that far gone. Alrighty. I guess we just fire and wait to find someone oh, after the hope fact. Hope you can find the the four dudes. I guess you could fire. Can you still fire and do the curve I think bullet? So. I think so, yes. There you go. Oh, there he is. Well, now I'm... we know. Yoo hoo! Anyone behind this box? thinks he's hidden in the truck and yet he's dead dead oh there were birds I didn't notice oh. uh, August with a $10 dono thank you so much August just got here but the game looks weird is it fun yeah it's pretty fun I think we've had a we've had a solid pairing today I mean the, this is basically the sniper elite thing where you get to mm -hmm. watch your bullet go right into a person's head but with a bit more after the fact uh, puzzling. Yeah. Yeah, pray. It won't help. Oh, I see a bird out the window. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, that's where the title came from. Oh. Uh, they did it. And let's mark our birdie friend when they're <laughs> so we can shoot it when it's near the window. Uh, Tommy Salty with 25 PLN. Thank you for the Zwoti. Uh, Marty, if you could talk to your past self, wouldn't he be more knowledgeable considering you forget everything? Also, Marty is a shrewd wordsmith. Uh, I, I, I'm wiser at my age. I've just forgotten a lot of things. I feel like the things I've forgotten weren't that important. I've forgotten more about video games than you'll ever know. B? I'm just I know a lot about games. I'm talking to people in general. Ah, oh, You know more about Commodore 64. Judging by the fact that I don't know anything about Commodore 64. Yeah, I probably know more about Commodore 64. You might know more, yeah. <laughs> you might know more about Commodore 64 than uh, everyone probably but 10 people. 
Uh, Leighton with another five. I don't know. Thank you so much, Leighton. Reason I ask is rewatching ZP. Despite it being a character, I have seen growth and change to its humor as well as your view on games. I was curious. Yeah, if you get I don't know, close to 20 years of, of making a video every week, you're going to see, yeah, see like, some change. Yeah, uh, like, we have changes of mood as the years go by. I find I, yeah. I like puzzle games more than I did initially. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the bird flies near the windows. When yeah. they're flying at a point where they're in view of the windows, I shoot the three lads, and then shoot the bird, and then go into the building. Yeah, I guess I'm curious how much time passes like when you f from when you fire to when you're going to get to the bird. Yeah, actually, there's eight. like time doesn't stop, but it just crawls. There's eight guys I need to shoot. There's probably more in the building than I think. Hang on. Aha! Look, Look at this man. jag balls. What's he standing in view of a window. He's never been hunted by a sniper before. Looking at this wongus. Another one there. And Tommy of Twins, Woti, thanks so much, Tommy. Are the balls of steel a solid pairing? Balls of steel. Why can't I Damn. mark that guy? Okay, I can. From there. Okay, and there's two praying at the altar, so that's everyone marked, I think. Mm, yeah, it looked like in the intro thing there were the two dudes inside, so. Mm. There you go. I'm curious if you can hit those other inside, if they're in, like, the same room inside as the two dudes at the altar, or if, like, they're in separate rooms. Well, only one way to find out. And we have a gas tank. Beautiful. Hmm. Should we try and shoot four or five first and get a lay of the insides? Yeah, might as well see what's going on in there. Oh yeah. Uh, hi guys. Guys inside. So it seems like if yeah, you almost need to take that outside guy. Oh shit. Bird. Oh, I forgot we move our bullets. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So I think what we should do. We should shoot the outside guys first and try to get an angle on the inside. Yeah. Once they've been shot. It seems like once you're inside, you'll be able to get everyone inside. Hopefully. Uh, Sean with five Canadian dollars. Thank you so much, Sean. I've been listening to Will Save the Galaxy for food, and it took a while for me to realize you've been hiding the protagonist's real name. Well, that was established in the first book. So. You've been close to the vest. Okay, well, one's behind some blocks there, so I think what I should do is try to shoot one last. We'll start with the gas tank and the bird. And we'll go inside the building and see where we go from there. There you go. Uh, and Leighton with another challenge. five dollar dono. Thank you, Leighton. If Fortnite gave you a small sack of money to have the rights to one of your book characters, who do you feel would be the best? Yahtzee, which one of your characters is in Fortnite? Uh, let's say Diablery. Oh, you went over the house, you idiot. That's not what you're supposed to do. And now I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, okay. That, that'll work. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a 
seems like a little explosion, man. This guy, and then there's the one guy. Yep. On the first floor. Number five. Number five. Oh, this should be. Oh, there. he's trying to get out. Beautiful. Well, whatever works. Yeah, a bit of a clusterfuck oh, in the house there. What are you getting in the house? It's just close enough. Okay. Plot. Plot, plot, plot. Mysterious plot. Look at that bear. This is a sniper rifle focused religion. So they really love sniper rifles. What can I say? Nine guys. And one's on the move. Sorry, I panicked. I keep. Uh, Simple Simon with a $20 dono. Thank you so much, Simple Simon. Speaking of crypto and regrets, if you ever have financial regrets about something you've done in the past, just remember Laszlo Hanich, who paid 10,000 Bitcoin in 2010 to have two Papa John's pizzas delivered to him. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, it's a bummer. Look at this guy. What is he? Do you think he's going to take a take a big D? Oh, he's just like the new guy who's really over eager. Oh, like, okay. hey guys, like number one hard. just number one just told everyone to keep their eyes peeled oh. in the outside. Okay, I'm gonna go hard. back now. Okay, we're missing a guy. Oh, is that him? Yes, it is. Look at this drinking, getting his hooch on. What else can we shoot? Look, there's a car. So the car has a gas tank. Yeah, I don't know I if see. that's going to help at all. Yeah, I see a car. Two cars, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how big the uh, explosion radius on the car is. Are there any birds? It doesn't look like there's any birds. No, I don't see any. So number six is going back and forth a bit. Can I, can I shoot through the oh. chain link fence? Uh, good question. Only one way to find out. Probably. that kill anyone? I couldn't tell. Are you, are you alive? No, it, went from, it went from 8 to nothing. Or 8 to 8, so it didn't seem like it killed anyone. Just let you get Oh, anyway. look, look who's here. Mr. Eager Pants. Oh, runabout. Shit! Oh, no! That was going so well. Karma for calling him Eager Pants. Okay, let's try this again. I'm to think maybe mouse controls would be better. Yep. I think I got to around here where I was like, I hate to say it, but... I was also trying to use the weird little mouse pad thing on a Steam Deck. I don't know if you have a Steam Deck, but they have this weird, like, fake haptic mouse pad thing. I was, was it not getting the job done. Oh, you rotter. Oh, no! Oh! I feel like you almost got an ankle. Uh, right. Uh, Chris this? with a $10 dono. Oh, what were you saying? Third time for real Z's. No, real term. Third time's real term. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for the $10 dono. Crypto is like Star Citizen. Always about to take off. They just need a little bit more of your money. Yeah. Don't want Nick to stream Star Citizen. He keeps saying he's got buds who love Star Citizen. Well, invite them on so we can laugh at them. I think, Nick, we just need to stream the game because I literally don't know what kind of a game Star Citizen is. Tell them to bring their favorite JPEGs. 
<laughs> Top 10 JPEGs. Okay. I keep instinctively pressing my LT to aim, and when I do that, he arranges his fr her, she arranges her fringe. Her <laughs> fringe. So the last game had a clap button, and this game has a, a slightly move your bangs button. Yeah. Okay, we need to wait till six is down, I think. Oh, oh shit. Bollocks. Uh, Leighton with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much, Leighton. For both of you, which two genres combined sound like a disaster, but that you think would work, such as murder mystery plus battle royale? We'll be shooting one another. I mean, you kind of had it. I was listening to a podcast. They're saying like the, the the hot genre right now that's getting all the like publishers wet is romanticy. Hmm. Romance and fantasy, but uh, quite sexually explicit. Romance. Gotcha. All and the housewives, I, all the housewives are into shagging Legolas these days. Sure. You mean uh, that's the genre in like literature that's blowing up right now? Yes. Not in games. They might be translate to games, but uh, yeah, I know there's that like Outlander series. People like being horned up. I think people like being horned up and like a bit of mysticism in their lives. Funny, so. Funny that. Okay. Um, let's shoot this gas tank. Uh, I think a pretty good combo would be, oh, that happened very quickly, would be uh, Time Loop and Sister Kissing. Well, i got good news for you. Have I got the game for you? <laughs> it does feel like Time Loop is a thing that is being has been glommed on to uh, a lot of different genres. Yeah. Time Loop sci-fi, Time Loop fantasy. Have we done Time Loop horror? Solve your own Surely. solve your own murder. It's like a Surely someone must have done that. Escape Michael Myers in a time loop. I mean movies have done it, I know. In the leg. Oh beautiful. Oh, he was just in his nice little lodge. Oh no, the lodge boys. Not so nice lodge anymore. Yeah, watch this fire. Oh poor guy. Yep. Dun, 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 zone. Beautiful. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> Leighton says, how dare you remind me of that game. What's happened to this car? Where's it going? I don't know. It's flying. <laughs> Someone invented flying cars and we didn't hear about it. You. Yeah. You are a man. Is that literally the only guy visible? There was floating stuff in the last level? I did not notice anything floating in the last level. It must be their cult powers. Yeah. Listen, something if you're gonna start a cult, something good better come out of it, such as the ability to make things float. Alright, well we've got that guy, we've got that guy. Four more unaccounted for. Let's just shoot one and see what happens. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's that's my Oh, bullet. there's another guy. Bolt's just really excited. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love heads, I love heads. <laughs> Explorative bullet. Look at that. 
<clears throat> well. Well, we found one other dude. Yeah. Again, appreciate the appreciate the marking the game does. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Heads, 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 heads. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is just toffee every time you tell him you're going for a walk. Dude. There he is. Banana man. Shit. What? Nonsense. Genuine nonsense. Oops. Let's try that again. Oh. Hey. Right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Kill, 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 I love shooting things, I love shooting things. Oh no. <laughs> well, at least we can just leave the room. A slight correction there. You don't, you don't think there's someone in the floating car, do you? That would be impossible. That would be pretty silly. In this economy? Huh. Well, there's two more guys that I haven't found yet. in some of the buildings. Hmm. There was a couple buildings that had kind of like ambient light coming out of them. Like this building that kind of has this red magenta-ish. Yeah. To it. Let's uh, do some exploratory shooting. Yeah. I feel like that glowing red building, I really feel like. To the left of this one might be the one that's... Oh, is that even a window? Oh. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Man! Kapow! More, more men? Other men? Any friends? I can't tell if there's one in the other room, like, around this corner, but... You know what I mean? Okay, so there's that guy. So how many? You have five tagged? Yeah. There's one more somewhere. Nope. What about that burning building over there?
What a nice day for a leisurely stroll yeah, exactly. through the air. What about to the right? So there's this guy. Is there any like down this road? Nothing that like car that's parked down this road. There's nothing. Because we have two. There's nothing further down this road. What about this car to the right? Um, I feel like that car with the... Oh! Was there a yellow thing on the camera? Clip through the house? I didn't see anything. Fucker. I don't even remember from what I played. I feel like there was a guy in one of the cars. Not necessarily the floating car. Oh, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. You I think little, I spotted him. You little gremlin. JK. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Kill, 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 kill. I like hit. I like hit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. S6 with uh, 20 Australian dollars. Thank you so much, S6. I was one of the scrubs who only watched ZP, then followed y'all the second win, only to discover several of my new favorite gaming shows, particularly the wickedly witty yet wise writings of Frost. Godspeed all. <sighs> Thank you so much, S6. All Five. six of the S's. Five's a tricky one. Shit. Kablamo. Kablamo. Oh my god, he was right next to that car. Oh boy, skill shots. Oh, beautiful. Shit, shit. No, no. Haha, <laughs> get oh. Genius. Oh, there's flames everywhere. Double fist right in front of the door. And. Pow! Blamo! In. Oh boy. Oh, what good timing. Look at that. That's the end of the stream. Uh, and Maximilius with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much, Maximilius. Uh, cheers to Yahtzee for indirectly getting me into fights in tight spaces. An excellent game to fill the time now that Fallout London got delayed. There's a Fallout RIP London. Fallout. It's a, 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 a ambitious fan mod. Who would that... drop a nuclear bomb on England? What kind of uh, strategic <laughs> value would that have? What kind of monsters would do that? It's an island. You don't need to nuke it. Uh, then PM Stripolito, been a member for two months in the Green Gang. Thank you so much. Finally, a good divert, uh, divert the beam of light puzzle. Listen, uh, I like a yeah. nice divert the beam of light puzzle. Remember all the ones from Zelda. 
I remember a lot from Zelda. Uh, I don't have Sonic Frontiers. Some really great Divert the Light beams. All right. Let's do some Guess the Game. We'll guess Just a little games. bit, though. We've got shit to do. Got to prep for tomorrow's big stream. Snack. Just a little snack. Guess the Game. Guess the Game. Right. Now, what have we here? Looks like uh, some sort of a payload. Could be a lot of games. A lot of games have payloads. Mm. Some Battlefield shit? I don't know. Call of Duty? Just oh. looks like a thing you'd open and there'd be guns inside of it. I'm gonna guess... It doesn't have our generation yet, right? Console generation. The Singularity. Oh, 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 Singularity. Nope. Oh, that is brown. It's the, yeah, It looks like a brown era. Yeah, it's looking a bit brown. It's making me think of... Yo, oh, is this a zoom in thing new? Just lets you zoom that, in on the screenshot a little bit. Has that always been there, or do you just not do that? I, I didn't know that was there. I think it's, it's very new. Metacritic scores 72%, so it wasn't a big one. Wasn't a big hit. Yeah, just cause maybe it looks like a third person game because you can see his hand. Doesn't look like a first person game. No, it's not just cause. Just cause is much brighter than that. Yeah. And Resi Five is much much prouder than this. I so. could I could I could go for Resident Evil Five. Like... Nope. Three sixty PS three PC. Well, now it looks a bit like Batman Arkham Asylum, the underground bits. Yeah. Those, it didn't have those weird... Yeah, this, no. was, this is no. more like military. Yeah. What was... No. Oh, excuse me. Were any of the, was there was there a Deus Ex game this a third person Deus Ex game this generation? Now that one was was well reviewed. Yeah, and it wasn't. I didn't think it was three sixty. Yeah, it might have been. This one's this one's giving stumpers. Yeah, it's a... Clive Barker's Jericho could be Clive Barker's Jericho. I mean, we don't have any other guesses. <laughs> I feel like uh, if you really, if you knew, oh, oh, oh thought uh, that's uh, uh, Alpha, 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 Alpha Protocol. Protocol. Yes, I remember old, I remember old Mr. Thornton. How was that? How was that? How how was that not the first result yeah. when you said Alpha Protocol? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Thornton. Whoa, just a gif. Did you just kill that dominatrix oh, and that, that gif? Lady was in her pants. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's doing a very embarrassing crouchy walk. Classic Thornton. I remember Thornton. He was a dick. I never played this game. I mean, it wasn't bad as games go. Yeah. Old Alpha Protocol. Oh, it's one of those games where you fire a bullet and you can't change direction after you hit a guy. I don't play those games. He just really just kills this woman right away. Yeah. That just doesn't hesitate. No. Oh. It's vintage Thornton. All right, random game. Elder? Skyward what? Sword? Skyward Sword? No. No, oh, don't I feel like, oh, but it's a 90%. Yeah. I feel like it's still Zelda. <laughs> I feel like it's still Zelda. Look at those. That looks, uh, like the, that looks like the tree. Well, it's not a Zelda game, because if it was a Zelda game where there would be a yellow cross. Oh, I mean, I'm you've a, got the I'm right. So. You've got the right franchise, but you're going not to a yellow right cross. Game. It's called the Triforce. You're thinking of the Triforce. Well, I don't know. I mean, they got the sort of goofy, cartoony sort of look, American McGee's Alice sort of look. Yeah, ninety percent. No, I don't think it's American McGee's Alice. Lost in random. Oh yeah, I remember that game. That was a nice game. Nope. 
PS3. Wii U. So, 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 oh, oh, this is, this is uh, Rayman. Of, yes, this is one of the Rayman, either Origins or Legends. Or Legends, yeah. <laughs> Wii U is actually a good signifier because there's not a lot of games that came with the Wii. I'm more familiar with Origins. I haven't played much of Legends, and this seems unfamiliar so far, so I'm going to say it's Legends. I... Da, 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 da. The developers of Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Well, 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 well. How nice. <laughs> oh, come on, guess the game. <laughs> it's, a fucking, it's a fucking Guy. cloud. Uh, so Final Fantasy VII. It's a game of fucking cloud. Ha 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 ha. No, that's Titus from Final Fantasy X. Just Cause 3. Apropos of nothing. Just Cause. Just Cause 4, apropos of nothing. Wasn't oh. that the one? Just Cause 4 is the one where you can like, make tornadoes and shit, right? Now, this has got to be a modern shooter, right? Military. Yeah, an military percent This is a battlefield game. I'm just going to guess that? battle play any battlefield game, so I'm just going to keep guessing battlefield. I'm trying to think of the one that immediately leapt to mind. I don't. I can't remember what it was. Let's try Battlefield Three because the chat seems to want me to say Battlefield Three. Oh, what do you know? That's exactly what it was. Yep, that's modern military shooter, all right. How come these all don't end with gifts where they kill dominatrix? I guess they didn't all have gifts. All right. More fog is, than some cars. It's brown. It is brown and that is kind of, we think it's a racing game or just oh that looks like a does it have guns on the top? I hmm. it's got a sort of stock car race sort of vibe. Dirt but I can tell if this is a racing very, game or a car part of a graphics look game. very old school, PS2 era maybe. <laughs> Metacritic store core 84. What is that? Is that the flag of somewhere? Oh, a real flag. Okay. Oh, was this uh, the LucasArts game? Mercenaries? They were mercenaries? It was like a third person. Yeah, military. I played like, Mercenaries two. I never played Mercenaries one. I think that was on Xbox. Oh, well hey, done. Playground of Destruction. That's a you, very dumb subtitle. You know your shitty old. Shooters. I have fond memories. Of, oh, Pandemic. It wasn't Lucas. My mistake. Uh, I had fond memories in this game. As I say, I only played Mercenaries two, which was kind of interesting. Trees. Uh, tree. That's the forest, isn't it? The forest starts with a plane crash in the forest. Oh, the game, the forest. I thought you were trying to be like, oh, I know that forest. It's the forest. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's That's the forest from the forest. Titular, the forest. Very impressive. Okay, one more. One more. We've, we've had our fun. Go to I got things to do. Journey. That's journey. Just, yes, surely. Look at that. Two oneers in a row. Well, we don't know it's Journey yet. Yeah, it is. I just replayed it. Okay, it's Journey. That's a goodie. Okay, that doesn't count. One more. All right, one real one Let's for all the marbles. On. Oh. All right. Looks like uh, a Japanese uh, pagoda of some sorts. Yes, with like very crunchy low res graphics in '64, yeah, crunchy. probably sort of era. Like a mystical ninja. You know. You know what? That actually sprang to mind. Goman Legend yeah. of the Mystical Ninja. Nope. Oh, it's a fighting game. Oh, no. An 84% though. Like a Virtua Fighter, maybe? Oh, uh, it might be Virtua Fighter. That's why it looks like this. Yeah, and they're even like, they're, it feels like they're doing hand things. But which Virtua <laughs> Fighter? It seems early. Two? I don't, I don't know anything about Virtua, Virtua Fighter. Virtua Fighter 2. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. Where was that guy on January sixth? <laughs> what is this? platform arcade? What? Virtual. So it's just one of the. Is it one of the other virtual? Okay. 
Uh, Do we know for sure it's not a virtual fighter game? Originally released for arcade, presumably. Uh, I guess this could be Dead or Alive. Fuck it. I never, I never played. I just remember those like games. Classic those fighting games. games aren't really my speed. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was it. Well, there you go. I didn't realize the original Dead or Alive was arcade only or whatever. Neither do I. I remember it coming to 360 and being a big deal. All right. Well, thanks I like for big, watching. I like this big naked Hulk Hogan dude. <laughs> the thanks for watching Yahtzee Tries, where we played two games that were not too bad. But no, probably let themselves good. down with some really bad names. Yes. Uh, I definitely liked the second game a lot more than the first. Mm -hmm. Children of the Sun. I'm <clears throat> probably going to write up some thoughts on that now. Uh, go. Don't forget, the big thing to not forget, tomorrow, big all-day charity stream for Able Gamers. Uh, I'll be there uh, first thing, playing some... Hell Divers 2 for the first time ever. Oh my with god. Some with some people who have played it. And so, Jack, who has not played it. Oh, so <laughs> there you go. This real love somebody. Come and watch the balls and chains yeah. ruin everyone's fun. <laughs> but we're also playing some Dig Von Kingdom and yeah. uh, some first class trouble. And I yeah. am back in the afternoon to play some Lethal Company. Again yep. with Jack and some other people. There you go. Fun stuff. So get your little purses out and prepare to give to a good cause. It all goes to a good uh, cause. Yes. And we're setting it up. All the donations are going to go through Tiltify if you if you tune into one of our charity streams in the uh, previous years. So Super Chats and whatnot will go towards us. The Tiltify is what we're going to use for donations. We'll explain that all on the stream. You'll have It'll, it'll be self-explanatory. It's good to give back to the community. That's exactly. exactly what we're doing. Uh, other than that, don't forget to watch this week's fully ramblematic, uh, which was on uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Not remake, Seven. Rebirth. They're different. Uh, and don't forget to watch last week's as well, Dragon's Dogma 2, mm -hmm. because these are the last AAA games you'll be seeing from me for a while, I suspect. Exactly. Uh, I What else? I don't have a semi ramblematic this week. That'll be next week. But I do have an edited Yahtzee Tries video going out on Sunday when Jesse's got his dirty little hands all over this stream. Um, buy my book. It's good. And buy his book. It's good. It's so good. Listen to it with your dumb ears. What else do you want to plug? Howdy. All the just the usual stuff. We'll be back in 45 minutes with uh, Firelink, so tune in to that with uh, Casey, Nick, Eric, and myself. And then, yeah, other than that, 10 a.m. Central tomorrow, we'll be streaming for 12 hours. Rotating be, Cruise, yes. all your pals will be there. Be there uh, and watch the entire thing or, or, you, else. or you don't care about the children. Or whatever. There's going to be a quiz. There's going to be a quiz at the end. Yes. Mm -hmm. And donate lots of dot. Not to us. We're rolling in it already. Give it, it to the dodge. give it to the needy. Exactly. Tax write offable dash. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's something I should probably bear in mind for the future. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye.